What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I just noticed that, oh, damn, that looks good. I'm sorry, Mike just put up a new ceiling fan down here. It looks really, really good. Um, we were talking yesterday about the Washington Commanders that are currently for sale, we believe, um, that Dan Snyder may be trying to go ahead and get out from under some stuff. Uh, yesterday, it was um, Brian Robinson, their running back, who was shot three months ago um, in D.C. Um, they used him basically to try and throw shade on the attorney general's office to basically say, you should be spending your time out there stopping violent crime in the streets of D.C. I don't know if you've seen D.C. recently. D.C. is not like it used to be, okay? There used to be berry farms out there and everything else, the crack wars, and it was like daily counts when I remember 450, 500 people every year where it was per capita, the murder capital of the country. Then Baltimore took it over, and I think Chicago owns it now. Richmond, Virginia even had it. But be that as it may, they basically said you should be out trying to find the people who shot our football player. They were arrested last week, FYI. So Attorney General Carl Racine, just four minutes ago, released this. Well, at least this tweet came from him, and it's, it's got the blue check on it. So it could be that somebody has paid $8 to get the blue check because I don't know about Twitter. Um, and I should double check it. But it said breaking my office is suing Commander's owner Dan Snyder, the Commander's NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, the N and the NFL for colluding to deceive district residents, the heart of the Commander's fan base, about an investigation into toxic workplace culture. Albert Breer, which does also have a blue star check on Twitter. D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine announced his office is filing a suit against Dan Snyder, Roger Goodell, the Commanders, and the NFL for concluding to deceive the residents of D.C. on their workplace comment. Um, Racine said it was done to maximize profits and protect their image. Now, I, I would say, actually, um, you know, you know I, I feel bad for the people that were working for the Washington Commanders. I, I really do. And, you know... Nobody should have a toxic environment to work in. But how about the fans that have to go see that product? How about the fans that have to go to that stadium? And believe me, I know. I know how bad that stadium is because we'll be doing another tailgate. <laughs> FYI, we'll be doing a tailgate there the last week of the season. Um, quite frankly, our seats out in the parking lot are better than the stadium. So that's what you have. The Washington Commanders owner, Dan Snyder, is being sued. And this may be why he's trying to sell the team. Get out from under this. Because, you know, the NFL, they don't care what you do to the players. They don't care what you do to the front office. But if you are trying to take their money, that's a different story. So, you know the Commanders left hand up song, right? You know that, right? We've been singing it on here. We've been having old oh, goody. I think we need to change it a little bit. Just change it just a little bit more. Instead of commanders, how about Dan Snyder, Dan Snyder, Dan Snyder. Got it? So, you know, it flows with the song. How about left hand up, right hand up, Dan Snyder, Dan Snyder. Okay. As in, I need some handcuffs to go with that. So, there you go. Let me double check and see if there's any more updates because that literally just broke. Andrew Brandt just broke it. D.C. Attorney General announced a civil cons uh, consumer protection lawsuit against Dan Snyder. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, everybody's sitting on it. Skins draft. Rebrand away from Dan Snyder. Handpicked commanders, which we never liked. Rebrand away from the name that will forever be associated with Dan Snyder and the scandals. So, that's it. They're, put, they're going after Dan Snyder. Dan Snyder. That's right. Peace.